Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Jürgen Stockmann. Thank you very much and welcome. Dear ladies and gentlemen, dear automobile enthusiasts, dear friends of Volkswagen and dear customers who are joining us today. On behalf of Volkswagen brand, I would really like to welcome you here in the drive in Berlin. I would also like to welcome those of you who are following us on the live event and the live stream here in the camera. Welcome and I uh, hope you will have a fantastic time with us today. I've spent my entire career in automotive, uh, more than 30 years, and I tell you there have been very few events in these 30 years that I've been looking forward to so much as today. We are starting a new chapter for us, and we hope we can start a new chapter for this industry. It's a very special day for Volkswagen and the team of Volkswagen. We are opening a new chapter in our company's history for you and for our customers. Ranges were too short, charging times too long. Vehicles were simply too expensive and sometimes boring. These were the key reasons why many of our customers who have a genuine positive attitude towards electric mobility have decided not to purchase an electric car. However, you can't is now a thing of the past. Volkswagen is embarking today on a new era together with you and together with our customers. Now you can. Today, we are starting the pan-European pre-booking scheme for the new ID family and the new ID. Today, the future of e-mobility at Volkswagen will become clear and also become tangible for all of you and all of our customers. This day is a major milestone along the course which Volkswagen has set a few years ago by making consistent decisions in a fundamental change into our own system. The world is currently in the process of transformation and all of us in this room are part of this transformation. We feel it in our daily lives. Volkswagen is as well part of this change but we are also shaping this change. We are driving this change. We want to be driving this change in the coming years. We are clearly committed to the goals of the Paris Climate Agreement. Highly unusual for a company, usually only countries commit to these goals. With a view to creating a virtually climate neutral society by 2050 in about 30 years from today. For us, Volkswagen, this means a virtually climate neutral mobility footprint, and we clearly don't have a CO2 neutral footprint today, but we are aiming at getting there in the time of the Paris Agreement. We owe this to our children, I do owe it to my children and the next generation of my family and all of yours, and we owe it to our customers who want to feel well in actually being mobile and leaving no footprint for the world. In this context, we are pursuing a focused powertrain strategy. We have laid our cars. Volkswagen has opted consistently for battery electric drive system as our solution for the years to come. This is currently the most efficient technology for reducing CO2 emissions now and today and meeting the ambitious CO2 reduction targets that were set by our governments for our industry in our mobility in Europe, in the United States, in China, basically in all big major sort of mobility systems around the world. This technology can be implement, implemented most rapidly by the industry on a large scale. And that's why Volkswagen is doing it. We can change now. We don't need to discuss technologies. We can change now and change the footprint. E-mobility technology becomes our lead technology, no doubt. For this purpose, we are regrouping our resources from 2019 this year to 2023, just five years from now, the Volkswagen brand alone, just this brand, will be investing 9 billion solely in e-mobility. Cars, technologies, plants and transformation, including our network transformation for our customers. Over the next 10 years, the brand will produce more than 10 million electric cars at our plants in Europe, in China and in the United States. More than 20 models are currently in the planning stage and many more ideas being sketched out. We are creating a family within the family. Our consistency and model diversity are unique in the automotive industry and will make a difference in the market. In 2020, 
a new generation of cars will appear on the roads with our ID, the first model on our fully electric ID family. The ID is based on our new Volkswagen platform, the Modular Electric Drive Toolkit. Nice name, we call it MEB to make it short. You see it behind me. With the MEB, we will leverage the opportunities of the electric drive system in an uncompromising way and transform the electric car from being niche to becoming a mass and democratized mobility offer. Thanks to the huge economies of scale, the MEB will allow us to produce electric vehicles that consumers can finally afford. And we will also offer a much wider choice of fully electric models than any other man manufacturer in the world. However, infrastructure will be just as important as highly attractive and affordable cars. We are really sure about that. This is why our efforts stretch beyond the car. We will not end with vehicle development and vehicle production. As a partner and participant, participant in Ionity here in Europe, we are working hard on the development of a pan-European fast charging infrastructure. Again, you see this behind me on the screen, along the major motorways to give long distance mobility for electric drives. By end of 2020, just end of next year, 400 charging facilities will have been installed each 120 kilometers along these motorways in Europe. They will be equipped with an average of six charging stations on each point. By 2025, we will also have installed more than 3,500 charging points at our own facilities in Volkswagen plants. It's a major transformation of our own fleet, of our own people, of our own employees. Our 3,000 European dealers are also expanding their charging facilities in preparation for the upcoming change in technology. They want to be ready for our customers and for the technology that's thrillingly arriving in their dealerships so soon. And we are also investing increasingly in partnerships with companies from outside our own industry. People who have woken up to the fact that the major European player is putting down its cards and investing into electric mobility. This includes, for example, the partnership with the British supermarket chain Tesco, announced the end of last year. Over the next three years, 2,400 charging stations will be installed at 600 Tesco locations throughout the United Kingdom. A major transformation is starting because Volkswagen has laced the cards. We are a significant change agent for our industry. Our group company, Ellie uh, Electric Life, established in January this year as a fresh startup in our own hands. It's developing a portfolio of power tariffs and wall boxes for our consumers and other companies, so fleet operators, IT-based energy management and appropriate consultancy on installation services around the world. We really want to take the burden of thinking about installation from our customers and making that a convenient product to, to get serviced. Ellie will supply EcoPower from renew renewable sources not only uh, for the carbon neutral operation of our customers, electric vehicles themselves, but also for their homes and their offices. So a total pack of change moving from the footprint that we have into a footprint that's green and renewable. As part of our Volkswagen We ecosystem, we have developed We Charge. We Charge is the first 360 degree charging service by Volkswagen. It offers one integrated simple solution for public and home charging and is fully connected and synchronized with all Volkswagen electric vehicles, offering a smart routing, simple payment, simple access to charging at home or actually outside in the public charging arena. Right here in Berlin, we will soon be launching our WeShare all-electric drive uh, a vehicle demand service. This will be the first carbon neutral car sharing system in Germany and one of the few first ones around the world. We've started now the beta system, it's an operation, we have happy customers already, end of second quarter we go public, and I think it will be a wow effect for the owners here in Berlin. The scheme, the scheme will start with 1,500 e-golf vehicles to be followed by 500 e-ups in the early phase of next year, and then obviously, in the end of 2020, we will change to our ID family here in Berlin. Expansion to other cities in Germany and in Europe is firmly planned and scheduled. Our customers do have a general positive attitude towards e-mobility, one of the big mistakes we make when we 
think, where are these customers? They are positive, but they have concerns. They have concerns and they want information. And they have justifiable requests for information on this technology. This is why we have launched a comprehensive information campaign on e-mobility, which we called the ID Hub. It's live already. You can tap on it uh, and access it through our websites. It's available online. It's an online content platform that answers all conceivable questions concerning operating, owning, and sort of, uh, sort of uh, actually getting in touch with electric cars, and aims to educate the customer with entertaining stories, references from customers who do own electric cars already, and informative facts. This ID Hub will morph over time with all of the questions we are gaining from our customers. We will build an even more intelligent platform of information. This is not about only transitioning a car, it's about actually making comfortable information, bringing comfortable information to our customers. With this type of communication, we are clearly breaking new ground. We have started our campaign more than one year before the market launch of our first ID model in one year time. We are not concerned solely with the introduction of a new product, but even more so with a new attitude towards Volkswagen, a new style of Volkswagen, and with the beginning of a new movement, which we embark on with the first car of the ID family. The ID is a symbol of a new movement, of moving from where we are to a sustainable footprint as a company. Today, this future will become more tangible to you and to our customers. All the ID models in our ID family will be called ID. This is a real reveal, not a surprise. They will all be called ID, all cars from Volkswagen brand on the platform. ID stands for intelligent design, strong identity, and visionary technologies. It's not an abbreviation for a concrete technology. It's an idea, actually, that we will launch uh, actually with this family uh, of cars. You can see this as a franchise, a portfolio of cars in the portfolio of Volkswagen. It is actually a symbol of the future. It's not an abbreviation of a specific term, but it symbolizes that these vehicles will be a, a, com a combination of zero emission, automated driving, intuitive operation, and personalized connectivity. The first model in our new ID family is the ID3. Now, you ask the question, why is the first car called ID3, <laughs> not ID1? Now, that's a good question uh, to ask. The internal world of Volkswagen, since basically our birth, uh, classifies uh, our world into different groups. The figure three stands for compact class. And the compact class is the home of Volkswagen. That's where we are strong. That's the class we fully understand. It's the class of Golf and Tiguan and other brilliant cars around the world. The three shows that we are starting from the middle of the range the heart of Volkswagen where we sit today, an approach that we've always adopted successfully. Start with what you know best. Put your best foot forward. This figure indicates the possibilities of expansion both up the range, but clearly down the range as well. We will have a large number of projects in the pipeline. Some of them you do know as show cars, and we will be quickly filling numbers up and down, starting with up and then going down. With the ID, We'll be opening the third major chapter of strategic importance in the history of the Volkswagen brand, and that's the key driver for the name three. Following the Beetle, which has made individual mobility uh, and mass mobility possible throughout the world and left the footprint of the Volkswagen brand actually as a strong brand in Europe, in South America, in North America, uh, it, that actually, actually opened the first chapter of our brand. The second chapter was characterized by the Golf. It democratized high quality levels and advanced technology and has led to the brand that we know today. Top of volume, asking a price premium because we actually have worked our way into this position over many decades. The ID3 will be the first model based on our innovative MOB platform. In addition to many other advantages, this platform guarantees an efficient package and a large and flexible interior that's unusual in its class. From the outside, the ID3 will be as large as a Golf, so the, a size that you're all aware of. In the interior, it will be as spacious as a medium-sized car. It's a stunning effect when you sit in the ID3. It's a new world of space around you. It's very, very impressive when you actually first get to drive 
in this car. The ID3 is sufficiently compact for an urban environment like here in Berlin and sufficiently mature to meet the demands of a family car as their main car. And that's the transi transition we are embarking on, making an electric car the first car of the family, a first car to operate, basically being able to cover the needs of daily family lives. The ID3 is a perfect match for every day, every li everyday life and every lifestyle. We will be offering the ID3 in three different battery sizes and ranges between 330 and 550 kilometers in accordance with WLTP. These data represent the current status of the project. Final homologation data will be around, uh, will be available around September when we introduce you to the car in Frankfurt. In everyday use, the range may be shorter depending on temperatures and individual driving behaviors. We all know that as we are individuals and we don't drive the same technology the same way. This is purely a matter of physics. This is why we will always be indicating an expected practical range in addition to the WLTP range. I think it's a clar clar sign of clarity to our customers and uh, uh, we, we uh, want to cover more than 80% of customer individual driving and travel habits in this data. This, for example, will result in an expected practical range of 300 to 420 kilometers for the 58 kilowatt battery, which, is, which most of our customers are likely to select. So if you're conscious, you can get to a 420. If you drive fast and the environment is changing, it can go down to as little as 300. But that's a realistic range, and we don't want to sort of trick our customers in this case. The ID3 features <coughs> a standard fast charging function for a maximum of 100 to 125 kilowatt DC charging. On this basis, even the ID3 with the smallest battery will take on energy needed for at least 260 kilometers of range during just a 30 minute coffee break. I think it's a good way of describing 30 minutes and how much length and how much distance will you be able to charge in that time using a 100 kilowatt DC charger. I don't want to reveal too much today. You can really look forward to an exciting world premiere of the ID3 production car at Frankfurt Motor Show. It's going to be the breaking show for this brand. It's not only about cars, it's about a new attitude, a new look, a fresh design of the brand. You will feel extremely, I think, welcomed. But there are four things I'd like to promise to you. Firstly, we will hand over the ID3 to our customers in a completely carbon neutral form. We are working with our suppliers and our partners to achieve this goal in the entire supply chain and in the production of our battery cells by using green renewable energy. So our company is using that way and our suppliers. This will be continued at our own first electric plant in Zwickau. It's operated with green energy. Everything which we cannot achieve through our own efforts or the efforts of our supply base actually in creating this car will be compensated one for one for certified climate protection projects. And if the customer wants to, he can then keep the ID carbon neutral over the entire service life by using eco power supplied by Ali. This really means that we are moving from a negative footprint in production to a neutral footprint in production at home handover. I think a great sign for our customers and it can be kept green and carbon neutral if the customer goes green actually in the life cycle of these cars. I think it's a fantastic step ahead. Secondly, the ID3 will be affordable and e economically viable. The starting price will be as promised under 30,000 euros. The ID base model will be available from market introduction in summer next year and we will produce this car in 2020. So no fooling if somebody wants a naked strip car, he can get it, and the base range for 330 kilometers actually in the year 2020, as promised. In various countries, state subsidies can be deducted from this price. A total cost of ownership will be lower, i.e. approximately 30% lower service cost than in combust comparable combustion engine cars. So beyond the price, running and operating an electric car will produce much lower total cost of ownership as you compare to today's footprint. Thirdly, the ID3 will remain updatable and upgradable over its entire service life and will therefore improve continually. 
Every ID sold will be already equipped with a comprehensive set of systems and hardware, which will be upgraded regularly either through our dealer network or over the air. As our software develops and improves, so does the ID of our owners. And last but not least, the ID3 will be a real fun vehicle. You can look forward to thrilling acceler acceleration and a fantastic spacious interior and an intuitive uh, operation. We have been testing the cars now in the past weeks between Wolfsburg and Berlin. This is a 200 uh, sort of, uh, kilometer distance. And it's, it's a really stunning, unique experience to drive this new mobility system of Volkswagen. It is Volkswagen, but it's really Volkswagen of next generation. You will love it when you get your hands on those cars. Thanks to this new natural voice control system, the ID3 will respond to your wish and your command. But what I find especially charming is the fact that the ID3 will welcome its driver as he or she approaches the vehicle. The ID headlights uh, or the eyes of the car of the ID3 have an animation system which smiles at you when you get to the car. We have given the ID3 a real face, a real strong character that radiates personality through and through. It is to become a companion of the family and the owner or the driver in everyday life, and we are convinced that most of these ID3s will have personalized names. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to talk about our pre-booking. From today, we are accepting registrations for an ID3 production slot. For this pre-booking scheme, we have configured a special first edition ID3 first as you see behind me. We are offering this edition in four colors and three versions. All versions will feature large wheels and comprehensive equipment. So I'll just give you a few examples. The ID3 first will have convenience features just as including voice control and standard navigation system that's required obviously to find your way into the charging world. The ID3 first plus comes with additional IQ lights, B color exterior and interior, so it's look dominated. And the ID3 first max, which will be packed with innovations. I find the augmented reality head up display and the windscreen especially cool. It's a new dimension of navigated drive when all of the signals are actually on the road ahead of you. Very much, I think, an engaged and involving drive and change of the car. This car comes as well with a large panoramic roof to really feel even more spacious in the inside. All three versions will have a 58 kilowatt hours net battery and a range of up to 420 kilometers in accordance to WLTP. So that's the common denominator of these cars. Our customer research in the last two years has shown that the configuration of our ID3 first will probably represent the most popular versions of the ID3. It's the choices that people have shown us in the last three years. They would pick on an electric drive car for the future. If you want to have an ID3 first vehicle, it's really quite simple. Uh, uh, just like everything in the case of ID3, you'll, you'll see more about that in, in uh, Frankfurt. Uh, configuring these cars will be so simple, uh, than, uh, more simple than ever before in the Volkswagen world. To start with, the Volkswagen only needs to fill, or the customer only needs to fill in a few information on the pre booking website, again, indicated behind me. Customers can also use the ID Hub as the information source and then actually move forward to the registration hub. For the registration deposit of 1,000 euros, any customer can secure a non-binding option for an early production slot at our electric plant in Zwickau. The first cars built will be customer cars going to customer hands. And that's the key difference of our operating model going forward. The registration deposit will not be credited to Volkswagen but will be deposited on behalf of the customer. In Germany and Spain, for example, uh, the Volkswagen Pay system will be introduced, an e-wallet, which uh, will be introduced with a pre-booking, which will then be successively used actually for in, sort of in-journey uh, booking of services in later stages. This means that the customer always has retained ownership of their deposit. It's just basically taken away from the cash deposit into a, a blocked wallet uh, to make sure that actually it's, but it stays customer money. We want our ID3 first pre-bookers to feel that they're really part of a special community and we'll be treating them accordingly. Following their registration, they will regularly receive updates and exclusive information on the ID3 and the ID first and immobility per se 
as always, uh, especially getting into uh, sort of in, uh, invitations to exclusive events arranged by our importers. This will be possible with the ID3. For the special first edition with its larger battery pack and exclusive equipment, the target price will still be under 40,000 euros. The state subsidies for e-mobility in various markets are deducted. This amount can also be considerably lower and even more attractive. But we have another very interesting feature and highlight for RD3 first customers. They will receive the exclusive right to charge their vehicles for free during the first year of operation up to a maximum of 2,000 kilowatt hours in public charging. This will be available in all pu public charging stations connected by the Volkswagen charging app WeCharge and also using our long-range Ionity rapid charging network. By the way, Ionity is operated by Green Power wherever technically possible. It makes sense to register for an ID3 fast. The ID3 first is limited to 30,000 cars. And just to preempt the question, no, we are not going to be more than 30,000 cars. 29 European markets are taking part in the pre-booking theme, and they will open the pre-booking today. And I'm pleased to be able to say that several markets have already had recorded considerable interest ahead of the pre-booking uh, phase, uh, specifically Norway, which is the trendsetter in Europe for e-mobility. E Other key markets include Germany, Netherlands, France, the UK, and Austria. We are extremely pleased um, about uh, the response that people uh, are giving us from the ID, and they should not wait too long and hesitate too long to actually activate the pre-booking. So what will happen for the pre-bookers next? Just after the International Frankfurt Motor Show, we will be starting the ordering phase for pre-booking customers in most markets. With their registration number, which they actually receive on behalf when they actually place their 1,000 euros, these customers will then be able to place a binding order for one of the three exclusive ID3 first models with their local dealer of choice. In Germany, binding orders will become possible with the new dealer contract being in place in April 2020. Up to that point, customers will be able to cancel the registration at any time without charge, obviously. Production start of these cars will be the end of this year as planned, and the first cars produced will be reserved for the pre-bookers. Over the coming years, we actually intend to deliver more than 100,000 ID3s each year. So it's now time to officially launch the pre-booking phase. Ladies and gentlemen, the ID3, now you can. <laughs>